Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. I'm Shannon, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Voltron Legendary Defender Legendary Red Lion. So, hey guys, welcome to Comageddon. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Later. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I've already got him out of the package, so let's go ahead and go over the package real quick. As you can see on the bottom, here's all five lions, legendary blue, legendary red, legendary black, legendary green, and legendary yellow, along with the barcode and the logo. Then you've got the blister pack packaging, fire magma beam, legendary red lion, Netflix, form 16 inch Voltron, combine all five lions. It does show that red lion forms the right arm of Voltron. Choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years old. Got a picture of Voltron up here with the DreamWorks Voltron Legendary Defender logo here. Then on the back, the fire magma beam, the red line here, 20 plus points of articulation. You have collect green line and red line to form Voltron sword. And once again, form 16 inch Voltron combine all five lines. And it shows that the red line does form Voltron's right arm. The fiery red line is incredibly fast and as the right arm of Voltron wields the blazing sword. The red line is also piloted by Keith in this version. And in the original version, he was piloted by Lance. So let's go over this guy. Let's go ahead and take this out. He did come with Paladin flyer, whatever you want to call it. And it's just a soft piece of plastic, very flexible. But and it's just going to go right inside Red Lion's chest, just like that. Flip up. He's not going anywhere. All right. Also, you've got the magma beam here. We'll go over that a little bit later. He does come with one half of the blazing sword. And as you'll notice on the little uh, knuckle guard of the blazing sword it's got nice yellow paint job and black clear blue plastic slightly flexible but i wouldn't uh, bend it too much you might snap it or permanently warp it so red lion can turn his head all the way around can open his mouth it's got a spring action and that's to be able to easily hold on to the blazing sword it does not move up and down. He does have a little bit of ab crunch, I guess, on a ratchet joint, but that's mainly for Voltron's elbow. Yeah. So, and the legs can move quite a bit. However, once you get to that bolt there, it's really hard to get past it. You wouldn't really want to for fear you might actually bust the leg. And once again, the knee joint. Um, a slightly looser ratchet joint, but not bad. Then the ankle, a tighter ratchet joint goes all the way back, all the way forward. That's the same with the other leg as well. And then you've got his hind legs, which can go all the way around but once again it gets hindered by the back piece and then you got the knee two joints at the knee ratcheting you got one here and then the other one right there and then on the ankle and one thing I see with a lot of people on YouTube and online, they like to 
pose their lines, you know, kind of like, kind of like that. Um, if you look at any picture of a cat, they generally have their thighs straight forward like that with their legs pretty much like like that maybe a little bit like that and that's so that when they run and get that pouncing action so that they can go further in a shorter amount of time okay <clears throat> Got the tail, which is a softer piece of plastic, very flexible, and it can go in and back out. All right, so in order to form the right arm of Voltron, first you push his tail in, bring his legs up, and they are hollow here. So you push them in, just like so, bring his back up, and this part's a little bit tricky, you just push it in. Make sure it clears, push it all the way down. Same with this side. Squeeze them together. Bob's your uncle, there you go. And then you wanna pull out this little peg here. Um, I'm not sure that is the best location for that peg. <laughs> Um, maybe they could have designed it a little bit differently. Uh, cause right now it just, it kind of looks like the red lions, um, junk. <laughs> so, all right, let's go ahead and bring this guy back out. And when he is in the, uh, right arm mode, you can attach his cannon pretty cool and you want to be careful because this missile will fire out uh, I can't tell you how many times I fired it while changing him so and to bring him back you just do everything in reverse get the legs Pop them out like so, bring them around. Close them back up. Bring the tail back out. And let's go ahead and put his cannon on. You can see sometimes it likes to um, make it a little bit more difficult to put on than it really is. Uh, a lot of other times it goes in extremely easy. Then the missile. I have checked. This missile does not fit into the, um, the six inch action figure red lion's mouth. Uh, it is a little bit bigger. Uh, my son does have the six inch action figure red line and we tried it when we did his review for our kids channel yesterday and it wouldn't fit so but let's go ahead and fire this just press this button up here pretty cool not bad and like i said he comes with one half of the blazing sword uh, when it's not connected, it can go into his mouth, but it, it's going to fit in there extremely loose. It really needs to be connected. You need Green Lion in order to fit in there really tight. Now, let's compare this guy to the 6-inch figure. 
All right, so here you have them side by side with the six inch, six inch figure. As you can see, he, the six inch figure is about half the size of this one of the legendary line. And he doesn't come with the um, pack. The missile just fits right in his mouth. And it, the missile does look exactly the same just a little bit smaller um this is my son's figure uh, we like to get him the little six inch figures and now for comparison let's put red lion up against the black lion red lion is about half the size of the black lion and for good measure, let's go ahead and throw in the six inch black line as well. As you can see, the two six inch figures are roughly about the same size. That's because they don't have to connect. Uh, but as you can see, the black line, the legendary black line does tower over the red line quite a bit. Um, you can tell that the black line is just like the, the big brother of the group. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it guys that's the dreamworks voltron legendary defender legendary red line with the fire magma beam to form the 16 inch voltron uh, other figures in the collection include the legendary green line which also comes with the other half of the blazing sword the yellow line and the blue lion as well as you've seen the black line here so that's it for comic again this week the toy review portion anyway make sure you tune in later and also i wanted to let you guys know about the horror channel i've created um, it's called twisted zombie productions spelled t-w-i-z-t-i-d and then zombie like you normally spell it uh, i we do john works with me a lot on there we do we have a an anthology horror series over there as well as clown videos and just really creepy um entertaining videos it's all for entertainment um i direct the majority of them uh, billy and john have helped me with a few episodes uh, john directed the last episode so um very cool uh, i've received a lot of positive feedback from it so if you're into horror the horror genre killer clown videos stuff like that head on over to twisted zombie productions the link will be in the description below uh, make sure you like comment subscribe on this video and the videos over there for more content and i'll see you again real soon guys take care And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.